you been in this office for six years? Fred Wagonhalls yeah. is the CEO of Ammo oh, Inc. in Scottsdale. Years. But in the back of this nondescript building near the Scottsdale airport. My whole life is in this room. I think I got a better collection than the Hall of Fame, Scott. There's no question about it. Before selling ammo, Wagon Halls ran Action Inc., a NASCAR merchandising company. I had the exclusive rights to all the NASCAR drivers. If you bought a die-cast model car, a shirt, or a hat for a NASCAR driver in the 90s, Fred Wagon Halls probably made it happen. It all started with Rusty Wallace, but Wagon Halls struck gold when he did a deal with Dale Earnhardt Sr. Earnhardt was the Michael Jordan of motorsports. Wagon Halls offered Earnhardt $300,000 for his exclusive merchandising rights. And he said, bring me the money. $300,000 he says he didn't really have. And I lived at Camelback and 64th Street in those condos. I sold my condo, told my wife we're gonna sell our house. He bet big on Dale Sr. and NASCAR, and it paid off. Earnhardt died tragically after an accident at the 2001 Daytona 500. The last race Earnhardt finished, he gave me a uniform of juniors and his uniforms. And one of the last conversations Wagon Halls had with him was about money. Earnhardt asked him, How much did you pay me this year? And I said, Dale, I paid you 13 million in royalties. He said, I only made a million and a half driving the car. And that's how this collection came to be. Every driver Wagon Halls made millions was more than happy to give him back a special gift. Joe Gibbs gave me a replica trophy, and then Robert Yates gave me a replica trophy. When the driver deals began to dry up, Wagon Halls began putting celebrities on the hoods of cars. I went to Arnold and I said, you got a new movie coming out, Terminator. I want to put you on the hood of a car. Even Elvis's ex-wife Priscilla Rusty Wallace had Elvis's face on a car and his signature on a fire suit. Believe it or not, this isn't even all of his collection. I have another warehouse full of stuff that I have no room to put up yet. So what happens with all of this when he's gone? I jokingly say, when I'm gone, this stuff will all be on eBay the next day. <laughs> it needs to go someplace where people can see it. Where that may be is anyone's guess. In Scottsdale, Mitch Carr, 12 News.